This video is an additional one adding to the previous two which you'll see here also. Um, it's about cars and their unusual license plates. In the first case that definitely belongs to a gang stalker because he or she parked just behind me <clears throat> on a cul-de-sac in the middle of the night on an empty road. Could have parked anywhere, deliberately parked just behind me. Uh, woke me up by the way. The second of the black taxi, I don't think there's anything dodgy there. And this nice third car, probably nothing dodgy there. But as with anyone that is being gang stalked, you just never know. Certain things definite, some things you're not so sure. And I'm not so sure here. But definitely the first instance, gang stalker, without doubt. In an earlier video of mine on this channel, I'd shown footage of a gang stalker in his or her car with the car registration 666. Now the road I parked was a cul-de-sac. The only um, lorry actually uh, perm was permanently parked in this road it was. Uh, no one else. And yet this car with this registration of 666 could have parked anywhere but decided to park directly behind me this is it leaving notice how the road is empty and this was me using my uh, bicycle camera to initially anyway, uh, trying to get that registration plate. And then I changed cameras to my Panasonic camcorder, which has a zoom, uh, to prove that it was a 666. So basically a gang stalker at night wakes me up, parks behind me, and wants me to notice the registration plate of 666. In a video that I took yesterday while riding uh, back home or to the torture chambers on my bike, I was crossing Westminster Bridge, I came to the lights and um, a taxi, a traditional black taxi had um, parked in front of me or, or was in front of me uh, at the lights and again I couldn't help but uh, notice the registration on that particular taxi. I won't say there's any gang stalking involved here but it's quite an unusual license plate as you will see 